Hi everyone, welcome. Uh, I'm sure you've noticed this change in surroundings. It's still the same room where I do my video recordings. It's just that now we are talking via a webcam and it kind of aligns with what I'm trying to do here. So this is a new series called On The Go, wherein I extract pieces of information, things that are happening in finance and investing, uh, which has an impact on our investing decisions. And more importantly, it can make us better investors improve our decision-making capabilities. So that's the objective of the series that I'm starting. Uh, for this particular episode, I wanted to take you through something which I learned recently. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are users of screener.in. And very recently, I had attended the seminar by Dr. Vijay Malik, where he had taken us through his peaceful investing process. And one of the things he explained there was this feature on Screener called Export to Excel. It was something which I was not aware of. And I think this can be a great way of starting episode number one of this new series. Okay, so let's hop onto the computer. Let's go to screener.in and let's pick a company. Okay, how about this one? Garware High Tech. Okay, and uh, right on the top, you'll see this button here, Export to Excel. So just tap on it. All right, so we have a file which has been downloaded, Garwari Hitech.xls. Let's open it. Yeah, and this is, uh, you can call it the factory settings as far as screener is concerned. So it's given us six different tabs, profit and loss, quarters, balance sheet, cash flow, customization, and data sheet. And when you go through each of these, you'll see that this is exactly what is there within screener. So let, let me just go back to screener. Uh, you can see the different sections here starting from this one. So you got the quarterly results, profit and loss statement, the balance sheet and the cash flows. And that's exactly what Screener has. The data sheet is your master sheet. So it's got everything. It's got uh, p &L, it's got the quarters, it's got the balance sheet and the cash flow. So all of it is here. And it's very clear. He says, please do not make any changes to this sheet. So this is something that you should not touch. Please don't make any kind of changes to the data sheet. And this is the important one. So this fifth sheet, which is called customization. So what it says is that you can customize this entire template in the way you want it. So you can do custom formatting. You can add your own formulas. You can do conditional formatting. You can do anything with just one important instruction. Please do not edit the data sheet. So that's the, the key thing here. And uh, Let me kind of demo this and let's, let's see how this works. So I'm going to remove all the other sheets. So let me remove uh, profit and loss. Uh, let's remove quarters, balance sheet, and the cash flow. So all of it goes away. I'm going to open a new sheet. Let's call it sheet one. And let's look at something that isn't available on screener. Some metric that's not available. Actually, lots of metrics are not available. Uh, yeah, okay. So within profit and loss, if you notice, you have the operating profit margin. So you have the EBITDA margin that's available, but you don't have the net profit margin here, right? So you have the EPS, you have the dividend payout. So NPM is not available. So let's do this. Uh, let's say we need the net profit margin. So NPM and what is NPM? NPM is very simply your net profit divided by sales. Let's put in certain years here. So just extract that from the data sheet. So to the extent possible, please use the data sheet. So this would take care of how many. Okay. Let me just change the date. It's too long. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is perfect. So you've got uh, 31st of March uh, from 2016 all the way till 2025. Uh, let's get the net profits. So go to the data sheet, net profit, the net sales now. There we go. And then you have net profit divided by net sales. So let me show this once again. So what I did is from the data sheet, I extracted all the different dates which are there uh, again the net profit the net sales and i put in the simple formula b2 divided by b3 so that gives me the npm percentage right so let's extrapolate this over the few years and uh, 
Yeah, so this is how you get your net profit margin on this template that we're trying to create. Uh, let's do some conditional formatting as well. So let's do it on NPM itself. Um, okay, let's do it this way. So I'm going to go on this particular, I hope you can see all this. Just blow this. Uh, just do conditional formatting and let's add a simple rule that says, uh, okay, use a formula that says if this is less than this, please remove all the dollar signs, then please show it in red. Okay, so obviously because uh, 2.6 is greater than 1.9, this is this hasn't happened here. Let's extrapolate this over the other years. Ah, you can see here. So in March of 2023, your net profit margin was actually lower than the previous year. So that's why it's come in red. And you can do the reverse as well. So let's let's do it. Let's do the other one also. So new rule again. Uh, I go to classic, I go to user formula to determine which cells to format. And here what I'll do is if this is greater than this, and again, let's remove all these dollar signs because we need to extract it over multiple. Okay, so the dollar signs are gone and yeah, this is absolutely true. And let's extend it to all cells. Yeah. So see what has happened here. Now, uh, it's given you a couple of things which you didn't have with Screener. A, you did not have the net profit margin, so that's now visible to you. So all you need to do is to click on that export to Excel and I'll show you how to kind of uh, put this as a part of your actual template. Uh, so it gives you the net profit margin, so you can simply calculate it on a year on year basis. And secondly, you can use these design cues that you can create for yourself. So in this case, I have, I, I can very clearly see that, you know, Garware High Tech Films has been increasing its profit margin on a year on year basis, except for that one blip, which happened in FY23. And, you know, this is something that you'd want to investigate as to why did uh, margins fall by 1.2% over this particular year. Uh, so, and, and, and again, you need to also understand why have margins been improving all the time? I mean, is there some competitive advantage that has come in or have they changed their product mix or uh, economies of scale have started to be, uh, you know, have started to show up. So you got to understand what is exactly happening here. But I hope you can see the, the efficacy of, you know, kind of using this particular template. So let's, let's save this. Uh, I'm also going to change the name. Let me just change it to test template. Okay, this is done. Perfect. Okay, now this is just half of the work, right? Because we have now created a simple template for ourselves, but we need to make sure that any company that we uh, use this template on, it should be able to give us the, the, the revised template for us. So how do we make these changes? So just go to screener.in slash Excel. Yeah, you can see this thing that says upload customize Excel file. So let's upload it. Choose the file, which in our case is test template. Upload it. And see, now it says Excel customization has now been saved, which means now you don't have to go to Garvari High Tech. Let's try something else. Okay, how about this one? Uh, Anthony Waste Handlers. Yeah. Uh, again, let's go to export to Excel. I tap on it. Now, if you have done a work right, this Excel that's coming here, it should not have the six worksheet template, but it should have the revised template that we have created with the net profit margin. So let's look at it. Yes. So see, uh, with Anthony Waste Handling, you can see that the new template has been applied exactly the way we wanted it, including the conditional formatting. So this gives you a very nice clue as to how the net profit margins have been moving for this particular company. You can also get these visual clues on when it's going up, when it's going down, etc. So this way you can do tons of uh, metrics and formulas and customized formulas can be built in. Uh, 
just go to your data sheet and see what you want to build it. So for example, uh, if you want to lo start looking at something like the percentage of raw material to sales, I know you can go to screener and you can also do it. Uh, so if you go to screener here for Anthony waste handling, uh, you can tap on expenses and you can get your material cost, right? So which is like almost nothing here. Uh, as material cost and then you have the manufacturing cost the employee cost etc right so you have to you have to go in and you have to do this thing but if you want to do something like uh, give me a combination of material cost plus manufacturing cost you have to sit and calculate each of these things so these are the things that the template allows you to uh, do so you can look at your manufacturing expenses from here you can look at uh, the raw material cost and you can just add the two of them up if you want to look at uh, the interest coverage ratio you have the interest that's available you have the EBITDA which is available uh, you can do it on a quarterly basis on the balance sheet you can start looking at debt to equity you can look at current ratio the liquid ratio and stuff like that so there's a lot of possibilities here that you can utilize uh, and which is what exactly Dr. Vijay Malik has done in fact let me show you his uh, template uh, i won't be able to share it because uh, it's purchasable from his website let's try this out here so i'm going to now use uh, dr vijay malik's template yeah this one Yeah, I have now uploaded it. Let's try it for Garvari High Tech once again. So I tap on export to Excel. I've got a new file which has come in. It's got the suffix one. Let's click on it and see. This is Dr. Malik's template. It's a pretty, it's a pretty long one. Uh, very useful stuff, right? And it kind of ascribes to his methodology of working the peaceful investing approach where he uses a lot of uh, uh, different calculations that he has done like this one the self-sustainable growth rate something that he teaches in his workshop as well uh, plus he uses things like free cash flow uh, he, he really looks at cash flow from operations he's someone who uh, you know looks at companies over a 10 year period so so this is the last 10 years for this particular company what's the kind of capex that this company has done and therefore what's the free cash flow etc whether the dividends are being paid from the free cash flow or not so these are the kind of things he looks at uh, there are further things uh, you know your net fixed assets turnovers receivable days inventory turnover so this kind of template captures everything that ascribes to dr malik's methodology uh, you know which makes it a very useful tool but you know this is kind of not necessary that you need to use what Dr. Malik is doing you can use your own uh, metrics you can use your own workings your own methodology and create a template but the idea is to have a template because that can be very useful and you know once you do this once you spend a couple of weeks in perfecting it I think it will become very difficult for you to live without it. So that's it for uh, this particular session, on the go session. And I hope you like it.